God, please God, please God. <laughs> Trying to kill a fire, it's like a battle you can almost not win. Vicious and it's fast, comes with a fury. It will eat through timber until it's inside of the house and then it's, it's over. The fires that we remember aren't really the ones that burn a lot of land. They're the ones that burn a lot of homes and buildings. Most of our building codes really focus on fires originating on the inside of the building. When you're looking at a fire sort of originating from the outside of a building, it's really a different logic. Close to the house, we want to have a non-combustible zone. In terms of selection of vegetation, where you put it, how you maintain it, how often you maintain it. Clean vegetation around your house to remove the fuel that you have on the ground that can spread the flames. Don't put shrubs next to the house that can start catching fire. Don't put sort of combustible wooden decks next to your house. Some materials that inherently are more fireproof, brick, cement board, natural materials like slate or clay products. They don't combust, they're not a fuel source. Either you protect the siding of your house with an outer shell which is not flammable, or you add fire retardants, another chemical paint or a coating which will prevent them to burn. Make sure you have a finer mesh screen covering the vent, eighth of an inch mesh or sixteenth of an inch mesh. All the embers that fly with the wind and sort of land on the roof could easily spark a fire. Roofs are being replaced every 15, 20 years anyway, so you could have a local code saying, well, you really have to put a fire-rated shingling material on top of your roof. So you could use metal roofing, for example, fired clay tiles. Unfortunately, these all tend to be a little bit more expensive, but they're also more durable. have to design our communities so that if a few houses are burning, it will not spread to the whole community. We'll see more and more fires. This problem is not going away.